right, we're here at the Palenque. Oh yeah, and I just met somebody. You want oh, yeah. to join me? Name? Benji, Benji, what's your name, sir? Mikey. Mikey, okay, yeah. good to meet you. Anyways, and the girls are with me. <laughs> and then RJ's with me. We're gonna buy some fruit, maybe some vegetables. This is the farmer's market of the Philippines. So let's go, let's go check it out. There's just rows and rows of all these stores. Boys, clothes. The Palenque, you can get everything. Anything. And this is where people go to buy food. Look at this. Speaking of food, this is an egg store. It's all eggs. Look at how many eggs. There's a lot of eggs all stacked up. There's even stacks over there. Rice, you want some rice? Hello. Wow. I don't know what these numbers mean, but there's different styles of rice, different types of rice, and uh, a lot of rice over there. Hey, what's going on? Good to see you. All right, so hey, we got all the proteins over here. Shout out. Shout out. He wants to do a shout out. A shout out? You want to do a shout out? Go ahead, shout out. See no shout out. <laughs> All right. Look at these chickens. They actually look really good. All the cuts. So, so obviously, one of the things that you're gonna notice, it's not refrigerated. It's not a contained environment. But they've been doing this lead forever since did the beginning. Did you show the like heads of the animals? Oh, I did. I showed the head. So, yeah. so we just packed and no refrigeration. Flies landing on it, it's still okay. Yeah, yeah. I mean, they have to, you know, take sanitary precautions, and then of course at home too, there's things that you can do as well. I just feel like cleanliness yeah. in different countries, the, the standard is yeah. different. Oh, totally. Of course. And like, I love this meat. Yeah, I've eaten it. Oh, yeah. In fact, when I come here and eat with Judy's family, this is where they're getting the meat oftentimes. A lot of dried fish over here, a lot of flavor here, you guys, a lot of umami. Oh, girls, you want to try these anchovies up here? Uh, they love their anchovies. You can eat breakfast. This is one of my favorite things to do. So when I first started coming to the Philippines, one of my favorite things to do was eat breakfast in the Palenque. Look at that. Pinoy spaghetti. Pinoy spaghetti. Nice, look at that. Okay. Thank you. It's amazing. I, I would just go there and you can eat fairly affordably. Look at that food. Look at those noodles. Some amazing food there. Okay, look at this you guys. Look at this. Look at this. Look at what I spotted. Lumpia. Look at the lumpia. Oh my gosh, that looks amazing. Hey girls, look at this. Tell us mangosteen. about mangosteen. What, what do you know about mangosteen? Mangosteen is delicious, full yeah. of antioxidants. Yes. It's one of my life. favorite fruits in the entire world. Yeah. yeah. And it's probably one of the healthiest too. Don't Candy, they call yeah. You can actually use the rinds and make a tea. It's just... Oh, I didn't know that. They look like little bombs. Mario bombs. Hey, Mario Brothers What do you bombs. think? How do these look? Do these look good? Should we I buy these? I think... Yeah. Okay, we should Why definitely not? get these. Oh, these are good too, long gun. Oh yeah. These are also good, long gun. Yeah, long I can gun. finish all of this in one sitting. Oh yeah, these girls too. These girls can you finish it. And bananas too, we're gonna probably get bananas. Ooh, look at these, look at these. We got mangoes too. Arguably the best mangoes are from the Philippines. Yes. Uh, I think equally good though is also Hawaii. Hawaii's got really good mangoes as well. Hey, what do you want? What do you want, durian? Lychee? Oh, I wonder if they have lychee. Do you think uh, they would have lychee? Not very commonly seen. Oh, really? Here. Yeah. But so, you know what? This is kind of like a lychee. Okay, yeah. yeah it's like a small one. Okay, yeah. You know, another thing that you should definitely try is pineapple. We should get a lot of bananas. Senoritas, oh, for sure. Smaller cultivar. Do, uh, those are different than what we got? Or no, is that? Oh, yeah, yeah. We've been eating those for the last couple days here. What about oranges? Are there some oranges that grow in the Philippines? Oranges are good. Um, I think they need a little bit of cold. So they're not from the Philippines, you don't think? They're imported. Oh, uh, imported? Got it. Also, the apples imported probably. Oh, for sure. China. Oh, for sure. Uh, Do you think any oranges grow in the grapes Philippines? Grapes are imported. Yeah, yeah. I don't think so. I've never heard. What? We grow other citrus. Oh, like, got it. Uh, 
Can we buy some citrus from the Philippines if we see it? Yeah, yeah, we definitely want to. Where? Oh, here. Oh, there you go. This is local. Thank you. It's ripe, she says. What is this? Like a, it's like a, a green. Lemon? It's kind of. It's like it, a is it sweet? No, it's like sour. Yeah. It's the you know what? Though? Yeah. Let's buy it because yeah, so I might want to make a drink. Yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. You know. By the way, we're staying with Mikey and RJ. They've been nice enough to host our family. If you want to see all the fun times, go check out the vlog. Okay. Yeah. Mikey was those vlogs. Oh yeah, and we're we're gonna later we're gonna do a a fruit tasting as well as kind of a conversation around health. So that one could be cool. Hey, Juliana, did you see anything that you want? Uh, we got mayo scene, we got a lot, and that's why we Okay, want. we definitely- Oh, look at- Did you guys buy all that? Yeah. Oh my gosh. What's sabah? Okay, sabah grows in our yard. Okay. It's a different cultivar of the Cavendish oh. banana. Oh, you know what? I think they call them like ice cream bananas banana. in Hawaii. Yeah. <laughs> and you, could, it's a, it, you only find it in the Philippines. It's called sweet plantain. Oh, yeah, right there. They, they put it in turon. Okay, tell me about this. Okay, they, they call this melon. Yeah. It's, it's like a version of honeydew. Oh, yeah. Can we get that? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, for it's sure. It's not as sweet as like so, North American honeydew, but it's pretty good. Cool. But I want to taste Filipino fruit. So I'm guessing all that watermelon isn't from around here then? It's not from the Philippines? So that's local. Oh, we should get that for sure. I love watermelon, and those are just calling my name right now. But again, I just always want to verify that it's from here. RJ, do you think, do you think that watermelon is from the Philippines? Can we get one of those too, please? Yeah. Okay, so RJ says uh, the one on the left is yellow and then this one is red, so that'll be really fun to try as well. It's gonna be fun for the kids too. Yeah, I'm excited to introduce you guys. To May I say you're looking fruits. jacked, by the way. You're looking jacked. ripped. You're looking oh, ripped, dude. I'm, I'm uh, going to the gym. I'm gonna go to the gym and try to uh, keep up with this guy after this, so, so that we can burn off calories and eat all this fruit. There's a lot of really good vinegars. In my opinion, the best vinegar though, it's in the Batangas area, near to all big volcano. I've actually bought one and brought it home. Amazing. Jeepneys are basically Jeeps from World War II that they converted into these long vehicles. And that's what they use for buses. So they're really old. Oh, Lots of dried fish here. Healthy. These two greens, yeah. super healthy, very common. Oh. Kong Kong? Kong Kong. Yes. Very nutrient yes. dense and also um, sweet potato leaves. Oh, sweet yeah. potato they leaves. Call it balls. You literally could just grow it in the yard. Yeah. It's a weed. It's easy, right? And it's so healthy. Hey, I was curious. What's a good side dish that the girls could have as a vegetable for whatever we have for lunch today? Oh, it could be a lot of things. Well, have they ever tried... Bitter gourd? Ampalaya, bitter gourd. No. Would you guys like to try it? Yeah. Yes, oh, it's I like sweet, it. It's so sweet. <laughs> you would love it. Um, this is super healthy. This is very like healthy. A super food. It's on the it's on the blue zone diet. Really? Yeah. Okay. A lot of uh, Asian countries with the longest lived people eat this. You would, you guys would be able to prepare it at the house? Yeah. Okay, sweet. Yeah, I would yeah. love to try it. When I used to go to Palenque for the first time, I would always eat, eat bitter melon and kung pong as a side dish to whatever I was having. It's nice to have that. That vegetable side when you're eating something really heavy, oily. Oh, have you seen that? Oh, I've never seen that. That is the flower of a banana. Oh. And you can eat it. Oh, get this. we need to. We need to get this, this is the thing we're here for, you guys. Right here. Jackfruit. We're gonna get plenty of these, okay? This is what jackfruit looks like before it's ripe. It's like, not as sweet, but it's delicious. So, and fiber. Moringa? Moringa. Moringa. So the tea? Yeah. This cool. is a superfood, they say. Oh, totally, Moringa. Yeah, there's superfoods all over this place, okay? Whoa, look at this. So there's some turmeric here, some ginger here. I think this is- Is that ube? Ube. Ube? Yeah, see, it's kind of purple. Oh, yeah. Taro. Oh, this is taro? Taro. Ito taro. Okay. No, cassava. Cassava? Ito taro. Ube. This one, this one is taro. This one right here? Yes. This is taro, she taro. says. Oh, taho. Oh. Oh, it's buko juice. It's coconut water. Okay, oh, yeah. I have that too. 
No, this is Jack for you guys. This is what we're looking for, but the oh, ripe it's one. it's the best. But it's not ripe? Huh. Yeah, it's it takes a while. You think it's just a season or... We just have to find the ripe one. We just have to find the ripe one. These, These mushrooms, mushrooms from around here? Yeah, locally grown, oh. like literally picked today. Oh, cool. Yeah. Those are oyster mushrooms, but I they're white. I thought they were oyster too, but I don't know what, she doesn't know what they are. Oh, okay. <laughs> Sorry, buddy. But it looks like oyster. What's this, RJ? Right here. What is that? Yes, we need to get that too. Oh, we already have one? Okay, yeah. This is how they transfer everything. That's one of the great things about traveling. You get to experience other lifestyles and just opens your mind up to the world. Okay, so one thing I do like to do is get peppers. And this guy's got a lot of peppers here. When I first started coming to the Philippines, I would always grab a whole bunch of these yeah. and I would get some, what's the vinegar called? Um, uh, suka. Suka. Yeah. And then I would mix that together. Suka chili. And I would just, it. yeah, and I would just dip everything in it. Yeah. I pour it on That's my rice. That's what this is for. It's for dipping. Yeah, so I definitely want to get some of these right here. Peppers are also a superfood. You just wouldn't think it because you don't eat that much, but it's packed full of vitamin C, which is very, very good for you. Speaking of vinegar, and then they make it look, fresh, I think. Suka? The lupia wrapper. Oh, wow. wow. That is yeah. cool. Fresh ba yung This is suka vinegar right here. The saw on here. No, they won't allow it inside, but this one. This wow. One. They're making fresh lumpia wrappers here. Yeah. The guy's doing it right there. Here, I'm just gonna zoom in. That guy's making some lumpia wrappers over there. That's how they make lumpia wrappers, just like that. That guy's got skills. It's on that hot plate over there. We came here to get some buco juice, basically some coconut. So this guy's gonna cut it right here. Now you get the first drink. Tell me how it is. It's hard to get out there. It's so amazing. Girls, try it. Kira, how is it? It's really good. Sweet. Really? How is it? So sweet. Yeah. Sweet. Mm. Go ahead. You guys can have it. What do you think they'll compare to a bottle? Bottled coconut? Yeah. Well, see, the thing about bottled or carton uh, coconut yeah. water is they often add sugar. Yeah. Or they'll, yeah, it's a different like kind of coconut. Yeah. But this is, you can't get more healthy than this. Or yeah. else. Yeah. This is fresh from the ocean. I don't know if this is true, but have you heard that during World War II, when they went the blood, they would use coconut water really? as a, a substitute or to cut it? No. I mean, I can't, I'll have to do the research, but that's exactly what Wow. Yeah. It's like the closest to Well, they do call the coconut tree the tree of life because all you need is coconut trees and you can survive. Ice cream, milk. <laughs> Water, yeah. juice. Building, building a house material. Yes. Uh, I'm trying to think of all the coconut things you can have. Uh, the fibers can be the weaved into like uh -huh. random things, clothes, pants, baskets. Oh. 